<laughs> we are here at the park this morning. In Grayson, it's actually a really big park. We've never been to this one before and Grayson loves the huge tunnel slide. It's a little chilly today, so we have jeans on. Yeah, you gonna come down the slide? Tunnel slide. That one. That's right. Yeah, come on down. That's right. That's right. Come on. Turn the slide. Come on, come on down. <gasps> Yay! Good job. He goes slow, so slow down these slides. You think he'd go fast, but no. He must not weigh enough. Can't go up. You gotta go up the steps if you want to go down the slide. <laughs> go ahead. So we are doing one last day of just me and Grayson before this baby comes. So that's why we are here at the park and then we're gonna go pick up groceries from Kroger after this. Um, trying to get everything done before this baby comes. Today is Monday, the 14th, and I will, am going to be induced on Thursday, the 17th, unless he comes before then, which I have a story about that. But yeah, we're doing one last day of just me and Grayson. My parents are going to come and get Grayson tomorrow afternoon and take him to uh, their house until the baby is born. So it's kind of sad, it's just not one last time of just, just me and him. After this, it won't just be me and him, it'll be me, him, and the baby. Okay, I'm here waiting in line to go get a COVID test so that I can have a baby in the hospital. And I am shocked, I thought there'd be no one here. And the line is huge, I'm gonna be here forever. Ugh, this is annoying. I'm not looking forward to this. I'm not sure if it's going to be a nose swab or I guess they do throat swabs now. So I guess we'll see. But man, this is a lot. And this is only if you are like, um, if you have a referral from your doctor. Like this isn't even like the free pop-up testing or anything. Like this one you have to have a referral and the line is still super long. So it's like all these people are getting procedures done, I guess at different like Ohio health locations. So ugh, I'm not looking forward to this, but it has to be done. So I'll let you know how it goes. Yeah, 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 yeah. So Grayson and I are yeah, in the nursery yeah, right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. We are building blocks. Gray has really gotten into these lately. He used to, like this is the first time he's ever been really interested in them, and he doesn't really care to build stuff. But he likes for Anthony or I to build, and then he likes to take it apart and then he demands that we build it again so it's just a constant building and taking down but i am back from taking that covid test so i wanted to tell you guys about it the line was long but it actually moved pretty fast um and like i said before for that line you had to have like your doctor send in like a like a form saying that you were to get that for a procedure to be done at the hospital like it can just be anybody driving up there so they took my name and then they found my paperwork and then they had me drive to another like area where they had tents and of course everybody was in ppe and stuff and they were like why are you here and i'm like i'm getting induced <laughs> and all that and so then I went to the final tent where they actually did the test and I had to get a throat swab so they swabbed the back of my throat and I swear they did that for like 15 seconds it was it was so awkward and like they were gagging me and I'm like trying to pull back and they're trying to get the sample it was just terrible 
I don't know if that would have been better or if the no swab would have been better, but at least it's over now. But they swabbed it really, really good. And now it's like my throat hurts like from that thing. Thankfully, I was smart and I brought a drink so that I could drink something after it was over because my throat really hurt. But at least it's over. They said the results would be sent to my doctor and then... Basically, like, if I get a call, then it means it was positive, and if I don't get a call, then most likely means it was negative. I'm assuming it's going to be negative. I feel fine. I could be asymptomatic, but I don't really go anywhere, so I think I'll be fine. Um, a negative result is what I want, obviously, so that um, everything will be okay when I go into the hospital for labor. But I wanted to talk to you guys about... How I've been feeling lately because I have been feeling like cramps and I want to say like I want to say it's like prodromal labor however you say that like pre-labor um last night at like 4 30 in the morning I woke up and I was having like Braxton Hicks but they were actually painful so my stomach would get hard and it would have like cramping down low too, but I didn't have like any back pain or like any shooting leg pains or anything. So I don't feel like it was true labor. I feel like it was just like my body getting ready for it. And so all throughout the day today, I've been feeling it here and there. Um, last night it was pretty consistent and then it just kind of fizzled out. And um, lately it's been a lot better. Um, but it's like anytime I get up after I've been sitting, I have to build, so ignore me moving around. But um, anytime I have to get up from sitting, like sitting feels the best. And then anytime I have to get up and move, um, it starts hurting again. And so I try not to move or do anything too crazy, but I'm trying to like get everything done before the baby comes. So I'm like doing laundry. I had to pack Grayson for when my parents come get him tomorrow. So, it's kind of hard to, like, not do anything. I'm planning on making dinner tonight. So, yeah, I don't know if I'm going to make it to Thursday if this gets more intense and more strong. But then again, this could just continue for a couple days and then the induction will be necessary. So, I'll definitely keep you guys updated. Sorry, Grayson is nonstop singing. But... Yeah, that's what's been going on here. It's kind of crazy. I I didn't experience this at all with Grayson, so I don't really know what to compare this to or what this really is. But hopefully, I really just want to make it to the induction on Thursday. Um, and I'm definitely getting that epidural as soon as I can, for sure. What do you have to say? Hey guys, so we are at the hospital. <laughs> Here is Anthony. Eating dinner. We just ordered dinner. Had lasagna and ice cream. And there's someone new with us. <laughs> so, um, last time you saw me, I was at the park, and then Grayson and I were just hanging out at the house. And all and turns out I was in labor and I didn't realize it or didn't want to realize it. I don't know. And um, we ended up going to the hospital that night and barely making it on time. And I had the baby <laughs> like within minutes of getting to the hospital. I will have to tell you all about it in another vlog in my birth story. But I just wanted to update you guys. He is here. We do have a name for him. I guess I'll just announce it. <laughs> His name is Porter Hudson Denzel. So that's what we came up with, and we're really excited about it. I took a picture with the, with the um, I brought in a letter board, so I'll insert that here for you guys. <laughs> 
but yeah so this is um day two of being at the hospital we came in last night he was born at 8 20 p.m 2020 according to military time which is kind of funny he was eight pounds three ounces and 21 inches long so bigger than grayson was and you guys i did not have any pain meds <laughs> it was crazy it, it was just wild. You'll have to tune in to my next vlog. But I wanted to let you all know we are here. We are good. And this guy, I think, is getting maybe a little hungry. What do you think? Did you want the attention all on you? But, yep, this is our little room. I'm just in a bed. This is Anthony's makeshift bed. <laughs> Bathroom. And then there's the front door on the other side of this curtain. So it's very small, but we don't need much. So I just wanted to keep you guys updated. I think we're going to go home tomorrow. And I'm so excited to go home and see Felix and see Grayson. But yes, definitely stay tuned for my upcoming vlogs. I will tell you guys more about everything that happened, but I just wanted to update you guys and baby is here.